Hey y'all, it's T Lee, and I'm about to shut y'all mouth wide open. Keep me company while I clean up. Let's talk. So I recently cut off contact with a friend. Um, and it was very hurtful because I really love this person's kids and I like their company. And we've been friends for some time now. But I started my journey last year, my first time seeking therapy as a black woman. And I'm not going to say seeking therapy, but consistently going to therapy and allow therapy and counseling to help me along my mental health journey. So this friend definitely has some mental health issues. Um, I'm not sure what it is and I can't diagnose anybody because I'm not a doctor and I'm not a professional in that area, but I could tell. And so along my journey, whatever I learn, I try to make sure to tell others. So one of the things I hated was trauma dumping and drama dumping. I don't like that. I totally cut that out of my life. I don't allow anybody to come into my world and dump on me. Because one of the things that I used to suffer with was anxiety. I would get butterflies in my stomach and my heart would race when someone was telling me something and I could not solve their problem for them. Because I was always been that person to problem solve and troubleshoot for people. But when it came time for me, I did not have that. So that's why I sought mental health and it helps me today. And I do things very tediously and I take baby steps in my life. So I noticed that this person was always dumping on me and I couldn't take it anymore. And I totally cut them off. And I'm just here to tell you that it's okay to cut people off that are not living on your terms and that abuse you because that is technically abuse. You have to cut those people off. You need to start over fresh in your life. And you best believe God will put people in place in your life to replace those people that you thought loved you. There's a change coming. And you're going to see by and by it's going to get better. When they say it'll get greater later, I truly mean that because I'm a living it's testimony. the best thing that I could have done was to release I always struggled with that because I was always a people pleaser and I wanted to make sure nobody was mad at me. But now I do not care. And I am here to tell you it's okay to release all that negativity.